Welcome to the NCAA Women's Basketball Championship. First four presented by Dance. Capital One. We are in Columbia, South Carolina. Two teams looking to make some history. Presbyterian, their first ever appearance in the big dance for Sacred Heart. They are here back to back years looking for their second all time win in the NCAA tournament. So here we go, the moment they have worked their entire careers for to play in the NCAA tournament. It's here. Working down low will have to kick back out. They refeed her. Through contact goes Brianna Brady. And as long as Brady is isolated down low in the paint, you've got to play inside out if you're the blue hose. Crockfist in for the layup. Prior another look. Well, she leads Sacred Heart in rebounding, number one in gray. Bonner. Seven seconds here for Sierra Johnson. Up and in for Nalise Dudley, a member of the all NEC rookie team. They throw it up to Brianna Brady. Little pivot, little bucket. Klein cutting across the lane. Kept her foot down, looking for the fadeaway! <laughs> Meanwhile, Presbyterian on a two and a half minute scoring drought. <laughs> Tilda Crockfist ends that. Foul whistled against Crockfist. It's before the defense gets set. That was a nice screen. And Crockfist goes all the way to the basket. What's allowed Presbyterian to come out and shoot 60% from the field? Well, their defense and getting stops builds confidence, and then the motion offense, their motion offense. And the, the thing that Coach Sharp talked about, screen and settle. The screening action, unselfish play. Brady sets a big screen, and then Nera just cuts off of it to the basket. That's how you get Brady top of the key. She said, oh, let me just shoot this real quick. When anybody's ready to shoot, they believe. 50% from the field confident. The ball movement to get it inside to Sato in the first half. Oh, that's what she, that's where there she gets is. you. That's where she gets you right there. That hesitation crossover and attack the one. Well, Pryor finally finding opportunities to shoot it. And that quickness off the bounce, just the hesitation. Offensive board for Klein. Well, Presbyterian can't get away with what works from what worked so well in that first half. When you're, when you're coaching, you kind of don't have to worry about anything but getting the right players in the right spot. That's gonna be a shot clock violation. They've been so disciplined on both ends of the floor. Oh, Coneal took a hard hit to the face. She was holding her nose after that. Coast to coast, though, for Nye Pryor. Amelia Wood hit the trailing Pryor. Tucker for three. They got perimeter shooters and the depth. Don't say they can play 10 deep. And they'll need that depth. No Camilla Cardoso, not available for Friday's game. Oh. Looking for transition points. Good heart. Pushing in transition. The crossover by Johnson to get the finish, and that allows Sacred Heart just to get the press set again. You got to you got to really stop the panic, and that's a good timeout. Five seconds. Oh. 
Seven seconds. The dump off to Brady. All focused on her. The rotation was there, and Brady all alone inside gets the easy two. They've brought it all night. Movement inside to Brady. Working on Wood. They wouldn't mind playing the Gamecocks again on Friday if they could win here. Man, Dudley has been so good. Bring Dudley to the elbow and let her attack. At least she give the opportunity to get to the free throw line. But there, prior again, four seconds. Scoggins got the offensive board, the takeaway from Pryor. Well, Pryor is so sneaky and getting inside, snatching the ball away from Scoggins and then hold it. Eight seconds. They go inside to Brady. Crockfist for two. They'll get it right back to her. Olivia Tucker's in the corner. Amelia Wood takes the shot. And Presbyterian calls timeout. They will advance. The sisters are loving it. The first time is always the sweetest in Presbyterian. It's very first win in the NCAA tournament.